How are you? Kumusta na yung pakikibaka natin tungo sa ating pagbabago, tungo sa ating sariling pananaw? Kagaya ni Doc Jose Rizal, nakikita niyo din ba ang mga bagay-bagay na siyang masasabi mong nakakatulong sa sarili mo, nakakatulong sa ating society, o nakakadismaya sa iyong sarili, o nakakadismaya sa iyong paligid o sa ating komunidad. Sa araw na ito ating katalakay at ating pag-usapan kung paano tayo naabuso sa kapanahonan ng mga Espanyol. At hindi dapat pag-nilay-nilayan kung gaano kahalaga at gaano kasakit. Nasa sarili nating bayan, tayo walang boses, walang hustisya, walang karapatan na ipaglaban ng ating sarili na nanaisin man pero naduwag pa rin tayo sa kapangyarihan ng mga Spanyol. The abuses and challenges during the time of God was Herizal. The 19th century was a time of expansion and innovation. And it was during this time that the concept of industrialization gained traction. Many revolutionaries were inspired by the principles of democracy and nationalism to advocate changes in science, technology, economics, and politics. Despite signs of progress, the Philippines remained primitive in the 19th century. The administration, which was dominated by self-centered individuals, remained deaf and blind to the people's cries of injustice and misery. During that time, the country's social and economic structures continued to be founded on feudalistic traditions, fueling racial discrimination and division based on the status quo. They brought liberalism from the West to the Philippines and encouraged Filipinos to think differently about the country as a whole. The Philippines became feudalistic in setup as a result of Spanish colonization, which reinforced the land holding system established by the advent of the conquistadors. The wealthy few had held authority and power over the land they owned. As a result, there was no significant divine between the landlords and their renters. The Philippine social structures, or structure rather, was, was shaped by Spanish occupation. It allowed the aristocracy to hold the Indians prisoner by embracing the master-slave relationship. Can you see? Sila yung Amo mo, ikaw yung utusan, wala kang karapatan, kundi sunod lang sa kanila. Masaklap naman ang natamasa ng mga Pilipino noon sa kapanahunan ni Gat Jose Rizal. Magpatuloy tayo. The people in charge lack qualifications, abilities, and leadership qualities. At the administrative level, the government was dominated by appointed officials who served for personal gain. Injustice, a lack of coordination among officials, and greater financial abuses were the results of such measures. Many officials took use of their post and its broad powers to recoup their expenses and profit themselves after investing time and money to gain the royal appointment. Officials who wanted to further their interests collected larger taxes than usual, high costs. This is what we call the indulto para comerciar, 
The alcalde, who was also the provincial judge, presided over a court attack in favor of the Spaniards' criminal activities. If you're going to think it over, in favor to Spaniards' criminal activities. So nonetheless, they're not still Filipino. They're still Spanish in blood, in mind, in veins that flows to their being so cruelty to the Filipinos during the time of God Pasarizal. This resulted in the closure of countless enterprises owned by locals, increasing the country's destitute population. Native Americans had minimal role in government. Their obligations were not sufficiently paid, which frequently resulted in poor job performance. The money collected from the other indigenous was not used to improve the provinces they controlled, but rather for the administrator's own benefit, the existence of this honest gober gobernador Silio attracted some guys to the office. The same thing that happened in our country right now, in this contemporary world that you are living with, some of your provinces, some of your cities was not yet totally improved because of this kind of attitude that we encountered corrupt public officials. I'm so sorry for those who are watching, for those who are listening to this particular discussion. I'm not mentioning any names, but I'm just giving only the things that happened, sharing the things that happened during the time of Gato Sarisal. Homes of, homes of indigenous were searched without warrants. Tinatapakan ang sarili nating pagkatao. Walang binigay na respeto, pasokin lang yung mga bahay-bahay, bigyan ka lang ng ganito, Pos, nagtaka ka na lang, ba't ka nagkakasala na wala, na, wala ka namang ginawa? Okay? Persons were convicted and banished for being filibusters. Pag nakita nilang, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, pag nakita nila sa'yo na parang against ka, ayun. Maguno kang bigla sa pananaw ng ibang Pilipino. In short, dedo ka na. Kaya nga, naawa ako sa, nung pinapanood ko yung storya ni Dr. Jose Rizal, yung kay Sisa na part, bilang isang ina, sabi niya, Crispin, Basilio, nasaan kay mga anak ko? Can you imagine, nabaliw ang isang ina sa kahahanap ng kanyang anak. Pero hindi niya talaga nahanap. Kung anong kadahilanan, ipapapanood ko sa inyo yung napakagandang nagawang movie ng isang television network ng Bansang Pilipinas. Allow me to mention the GMA in the person of Cesar Montano. I'm going to let you to watch that one of these days if you wish to, but I cannot share it with you. The entire movie, only the clips of the movie. You can find that one also in the YouTube, if you wish to. Just type, Jose Rizal, na si Cesar Montano ang naging main actor doon and Chinchin Chin Chin Gutierrez bilang isang kabiyak ng puso ni Gat Jose Rizal. Kung sino yun siya, dapat malaman niya din yun. Siya yung nag-iisang babae na nabigyan si Rizal ng bunga ng kanilang pagmamahalan. Ah, uh, sarap na ang pag may bunga ng pagmamahalan. Okay? Now let's continue. The books were not allowed. The periodicals and other written materials could not be published or admitted into the country without the board of censors prior approval. In due organized assemblies and any other political gatherings are prohibited without due process of law, the impoverished were frequently found guilty. The myriads of cases were solely determined by money, color, and connections to powerful people. Doña Chidora's time in prison is an example. Pinaratangan siya ng kanyang cousin 
na nilason, ginito, and so on so forth, nakulong siya ng dalawang taon, walang mustisya. Hanggang sa nagkakaroon ng preba na inusente talaga ang mama ni Dr. Jose Rizal at nakalaya din sa awa ng Diyos. Okay? Churches might engage and participate in state proceedings. They were powerful, persuading the Indians to follow the state's rules as God would. Colonizing countries use Christianity as a tactic. Can you imagine during that time, masarap, I am a devotee and I, I was born as a Catholic and I am die as a Catholic. Wala akong tuto sa akong pagkarumano katoliko. Pero yung iba dyang bato-bato sa langit, may mga paring, may mga madring, nako, for just for santo, kung makaasakala mo kung sino silang banal, hindi makasalanan, kung mangusga ng kapwa mananampalataya, akala mo sila na yung anghel na bumaba ng langit, na galing sa langit. E ang Diyos nga natin eh, very humble, mapagkumbaba, inaako kahit hindi niya kasalanan, tunay na pagmamahal, natamasa nating lahat, tunay na respeto galing sa ating poong may kapal. Pero yung nasa reliyosong sekto, hindi lahat, hindi ko sinasabi sila lahat-lahat. May ilan-ilan dyan. Ugaling. Ewan ko. Allow me to use the word makademonyo. Santong kabayo. Na? Kawawa yung mga pare, mga madre, mga ibang reliyoso na very faithful masyado at may respeto sa kapwa. Naway sa pang-aabuso ng ating natamasa ngayon, sa ka- lalong-lalo sa panahon ni Gato Rizal, ni Gat- Dr. Serizal, naway matauhan din tayo. Naway tayo ang maging ihemplo, tayo ang maging instrumento para sa tunay na kapayapaan at pagbabago, hindi lamang sa ating komunidad, hindi lamang sa ating susyudad, pati na rin sa ating sarili at sa tamang pag-iisip upang sa gayoy magkakaroon tayo ng matiwasay, mapayapa at masaganang pamumuhay sa kapwa Pilipino tungo sa mga banyagang ating nakasalamuha sa ating buhay. Magandang araw. God bless everyone. Patuloy tayo sa ating paglalakbay tungo sa kaalaman.